everybody and welcome to Card Cafe Thursday at Scrapbook and Cards Today. And I'm going to show you today a whole series of different ways to look at your stamp. This particular stamp set is actually from our Crop and Create Delivered Kit. This is from our Summer 2015 Heat Wave Kit. And this set comes in the Layout Kit. But it can also be purchased separate. So make sure you check out here on the Scrapbook and Cards Today website where you can purchase this. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna begin with my our MISTI tool. MISTI stands for Most Incredible Stamp Tool Invented, and let me tell you, it is. So we're just going to make a series of card fronts, and then you can take that piece of paper and do with it whatever you please. So I've just cut a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of smooth white Nina solar cardstock, and that's what we're gonna play with today. So in our stamp set, we have a wave that's kind of looked like it's been fabric stamped almost. And that's what we're gonna play with first. So what's nice about acrylic stamps is that you can actually bend them, which is kind of cool. Now, because I'm going to play when, on a flat surface, we're not going to bend them, but you could arch this wave, but I just thought I'd show you that. Anyway, so we're going to start, let's say, oh, about there, because I want my wave to go on a diagonal across my card, so I'm going to close the lid of my Misty, press firmly, and of course I forgot the most important part. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's put some magnets down to hold our project in place. So I'm just going to make sure my magnets aren't in the way. I tend to like them on both sides of my stamp just to hold that cardstock in position. So let's grab some inks and play. Part of the fun of creating is kind of stepping outside the norm. Well, when you normally think of waves, you think of hues of blue, maybe a little bit of green to mimic the sea. But today, we're going to use some fun summer yellows and oranges and reds. So I pulled out my Memento inks, and that's what we're going to use on the card instead of using blues. So I'm going to start with the lightest color. And I'm actually going to apply my ink off the screen just so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just applying our lightest ink, which is our yellow, which is our cantaloupe color. And I'm actually going to start by inking up just this end of the stamp, okay? There's a little bit of yellow towards the, the other end, but that's okay. So this is, once again, our cantaloupe. I'm going to press it nice and firmly so it makes good contact with that paper. And it's okay. I want it to do this because we're going to apply different inks across that wave. So now let's take our tangelo or our orange color and we're going to take that ink pad and apply it down the center of okay so I only have ink there I have a little bit of yellow and if you think that your ink is spread too far down just use a baby wipe I just have this one on hand and I took a little bit of the orange off so it's a little farther and just closing that lid and once again because the misty lid keeps coming to the same spot it repositions your stamp right exactly over top the original so now we've gone from yellow to orange and let's put some red in the bottom so I'm going to use love letter so once again I'm taking my ink pad up to that wave I am going to brush see my red comes down to here gonna take my wipe and just take off some of the end ink and voila you now have a multicolored wave isn't that cool so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this wave a few more times increasing up and I'll come back and I'll show you our end result of our pattern paper Here 
here's the end of our first simple technique. This is using the same stamp, just moving actually the cardstock instead of the stamp in different directions and using multiple colors to create a gradient. That's kind of cool. I'll be back to show you what we've done with this end piece and let's go on to another technique. Now we're going to use this stamp, the one that says sunshine. And this one's quite a long one and when you have a longer stamp they flex. So the trick with long stamps or words like this is to literally drop it on your work surface and it relaxes and goes back to its regular shape the way it was created and then pick it up with your acrylic block. This will save having things wonky and you'll pick up your word or your long stamp in a straight manner. Okay, just a tip for you. So I'm going to use my acrylic block for this one. So for this card, I think we'll rotate this way. And this time, we're going to bring in some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Okay, we've got our stamp all positioned. And we're going to ink up the word sunshine with our blank, black ink. There we go. Okay, now we're going to have fun with some markers. We're going to color this using some Copic markers. So I brought in my multi-liners, which are basically a fine black tipped pen in different widths. And we're going to doodle inside this word, and then we're going to color. So you can make your stamps look completely different than they already are. So let's do some fun patterns using our multi-liners. So I'm going to use a 0.25 tip. And I'm just going to, so you can see this a little better. Let's see what, what kind of patterns you could do. All kinds of polka dots and stripes and whatever you'd like inside. You could do little mini suns. It would be kind of cute in this. So I'm going to doodle and I'm going to fast forward through this for you, so enjoy. And now we're going to color with a few Copics and this is a Y06. And instead of coloring the inside, I'm actually going to make our word kind of look like it's glowing. I'm going to finish up the polka dots with a B16. And there we go, another way to change up your stamps, make them glow and color them in. Let's go on to another fun technique. Another fun thing about stamps is they actually have two sides. Two sides, you ask? Well, yeah, because if you actually look at the design, you have the image. So, for instance, let's look at this image here. You have your fun in the sun, but if you were to flip that stamp over onto the other side, you've got the backing. Now, generally for most stamps, it is solid, and that's where you can use the image in a second function. So, I have chosen, we're going to actually look at the little sunglasses image here. And what I've done is I've taken the stamp, now this is really hard to see, but it's actually flipped upside down. So the stamp that gives you the glasses image is actually stuck to my block. I've used a little extra adhesive to help hang on to it firmly just because it's such a fine lined detailed stamp that it needs a little extra help. So let me show you how you can use this stamp in another way. So I've grabbed some dye inks from... Paper tray ink. We have Winter Wisteria, Aqua Mist, and Hibiscus Burst. 
and we're going to use these kind of as a base shape for our little sunglasses. So I'm going to start with our pinky tone, our hibiscus burst. Once again, it's the same as you would use the stamp the other direction. And we're just going to do a random pattern. So, like I said, it's not the detail of the glasses that we're getting, it's the background. reverse the stamp and it's now sitting the way it would typically sit and I'm going to bring my Memento Black Tuxedo ink and ink up my little glasses image and we're going to use those pink and green and purple spaces to be our guide to line up our super cute little images and your stamping doesn't have to be perfect. This is a homemade card. Just to give you an idea as to how you can use your stamp. And there's our fun background made using both sides of your stamps. So the next time you pull out your stamps, make sure you take a really good look at them because maybe you can make a pattern something similar to this. Well, I'm back with our final three cards. For our first card, where we stamped our gradient waves, I kind of cuted it up. And I added a couple of little critters and a simple sentiment. Don't be afraid to change up your stamp sets and mix and match things to create the look that you are looking for. Simple and cute. Let's go on to number two. Remember our sentiment that we stamped sunshine and then we colored and doodled in? Well, I cut it down to a banner size and added it to a cute little piece of paper that I created at the back. In the Scrapbook and Cards Today stamp set, there is these cute little ants. And I, I did some stamp surgery and cut one of them off and used it to create my background. Then I added a little bit of gradient coloring with my same color of yellow Copic marker and just made it fade and then added the teal in to match and I added another sentiment. This one actually has a little bit of shine to it but I'm not sure if it shows up on camera. And finally our third card where we made our pattern paper at the back here where we stamped the reverse side of our stamp and then stamped our actual image and for this one I kept it really really simple I just die cut an edge added some cute pattern paper and I also added some glaze so there we go I just added a little bit of very simple interest along with a simple greeting so thanks for joining me today I hope you learned something new and I hope I inspire you to get out your stamps and take another gander at them. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you have a great day.